We might follow our reason, our instinct, or our friends. Sooner or later, all of them deceive us. Trust no one, they say. Especially not yourself. Princess! No more secrets. Eleanor! What's going on? What's happening to me? There's somebody back there! The name. Tell us the name. Lysander? What? To hell with you, bastard! You slew Eleanor. No! No, that's not... What happened to me? He must tell us the name. What are you talking about? What name? Tell us what you know, this instant! What I know? What name? Too bad. You leave me no choice. My friend Muratori will make you talk. Tell us the name. <laughs> Ah! The name! What name? Ah! I don't know any name! I've always known what I want out of life. To sleep the days away under the sun. I just wanted to live. No more, no less. But the death of the princess changed everything. They think... I murdered her. And they might be right. Maybe it doesn't even matter. You come into this world as a nobody, and you leave it as a nobody. They'll put a rope around my neck, and my neck will break. But one question still haunts me by the Nameless One. What happened to me? I don't know why you're here, but I have a feeling you shouldn't stay. How did you manage to free yourself? You biggins don't know how to lock up an angry show. We have company. Hey!
This one will be grateful that he doesn't have too much to carry on his way to the realm of the dead. Here are the keys. So, what's this name, eh? The name that Four Eyes was asking you about. You mean Lysander? I call him Four Eyes. Maybe you should just tell him what you know. What's your name? I am Norim. Just Norim? No son of... Just Norim. So why are you here? I was trying to protect your country from the dragon. Fight fire with fire! Or oh, so I thought. What dragon? THE dragon! The golden one! He whose deceitfulness is going to devour us all, because we've become blind to the eternal fight! Ah. Let me tell you a secret. Friends! Hello! I love secrets, but I would be eternally grateful if you could free me as well. Please, open the lock. I'm innocent, as innocent as a man my age can ever be. Why are you locked up, then? If only I knew. I'm a mage, from Alantha, no less. Obviously, reason enough to brand me a spy and throw me into the dungeon. The name's Zerberan, from the House of Florios. Alanthans can't be trusted. The dragon sent him, I tell you. What brings an Alanthan to the country of his enemies? The weather? The landscape? <laughs> The women? Why are you wearing that ugly iron collar? Uh, you're right. It doesn't match the shirt, does it? I'll open the lock. We could use some help. Wonderful. Now I only need to get rid of this collar. You don't talk much, do you? My friends say I talk too much. Seems like those times are over. Let's see if we can find the key for this fashion disaster. Hold it right there! The chandelier! Cut the rope!
key to the door. And the one to my iron collar? Excellent. Here I was, thinking I'd never be able to cast a spell again. More guards. So much for escaping. Wait! I know how to stop them. At least for a while. Cells! Open the cell doors! Enough of this. Let's get out of here. So, what's this name? The name Amber Glasses was asking you about. Amber Glasses. That was my friend Lysander. Amongst my people, friends drink together instead of torturing one another. Each to his own? Why did they lock you up? They say I killed someone. A princess. And? Did you? I don't know. And where does this name come in? I don't know. You don't know much, do you? Did you know the princess well? Her father, Count Urias, had taken me into his service. Lysander knew her better. Her and her bed? In a manner of speaking. Count Urias? Never heard of him. He was a hero. A mage who rendered great services to the Horatian Empire. The Empress herself gave him the title of Count. But more than that, he's an explorer. He has a penchant for exotic peoples. Forest men. Lizard folk. Sounds more like a villain. Take the blasted wooden sword already! Why are we dueling again? I don't know, is it really important? I think you insulted Eleanor. That's not true. We were drunk. All I know is, I challenged you to a duel. Or was it the other way around? <laughs> <laughs> don't be silly. Leave them be, I want to see them fight. To the fifth hit! Let's have another drink instead. Oh, coward! Oh, poor baby, are you afraid? Oh, shut up. Ah, oh, how I missed all this. You actually look like a hero. <laughs> I'm impressed. Those years of training really paid off. 
A hero? That's the last thing I want to be. I was hoping you'd say that. We should do something naughty like we used to. You know, Father Okadiki has no teeth left at all. We should take advantage of that. There's no hope for you, you know. Have you been to see Urias? He wants to talk to you. Yeah, let the Count wait. I'm enjoying the sun. One thing at a time. Aurelia? Who's Aurelia? Now I'm curious. No, enough talk. I'm going back to Nitha. I need to find out what happened. But you don't have to come with me. Why not? I've always wanted to see the bridge of St. Teleonel. 